from science and research over the last several decades that stress, you don't need just a single stressful incident to happen. It, stress can accumulate and its physical and mental effects can accumulate over time through even smaller amounts of stress if you don't personally experience it. So following the September 11, 9-11, um, the 9-11 attacks in 2001, a group of researchers conducted a longitudinal study looking at the effects of um, people's exposure to media following 9-11. So these are individuals international who did not personally experience 9-11, but were, had mass exposure to media via the news, via newspapers, et cetera. And they found that individuals, even though they were indirectly exposed to the event, showed that repeated exposure to this type of media content was associated with increased levels of PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms, as well as the associated physical health ailments that come with extreme stress, as well as stress disorders, such as cardiovascular diseases. And this can still relate to what we're experiencing now. We see COVID everywhere, right? We see pandemic is in our um, social media, right? When we scroll through social media, it's on the news, we're talking about it, we have signs and symbols of it everywhere right now. So it's something for us to take into consideration that these minor amounts of stress will still build up over time and the effect that media can have on it. Um, and so when, this is something to take into consideration next time you are say scrolling through social media to get the idea of what's going on with the pandemic or any uh, large new situation that could be potentially stressful and to avoid what's termed as doom scrolling, which is now being acknowledged as an actual term, which is when you kind of open up Twitter and you look up an event um, that happened, say there was a major car crash in your area, and you keep scrolling and scrolling through your Twitter and just reading a number of articles about the same thing over and over again. Try to avoid doing that to avoid cumulative effects of stress, and instead try to get the information you need but once you get the information you need, put that away for now and get updates as you need to, but really avoid overexposing yourself to potentially traumatic or potentially stressful events once you've already received the information that you need.